Roofer. I'm with Ag Diesel Solutions and today we're at a customer's farm getting ready to do an install on a Case IH Quad Track 550. On this install we're going to be installing one of our IPM modules. The part number is IV6000B and that goes on the Aveco 11.1, 12.9 and 15.9 liter engines. Now this way we're going to give you a step-by-step -step, uh, presentation on how to install. It's quick and simple and we'll hopefully make it as efficient for you as possible. First off, we're going to identify the main connection points on the right-hand side of the engine block. Right here, you have your MAP sensor plug, which is going to be vital in plugging into the module. And then up here, you have your fuel injection uh, plug, which is on the front side of the head. And following, we will show you how to plug these in from the module to those connections. First off, I want to touch base on the module. When you get it, be sure that it is not in stock position, whether it be in the medium or the high setting. That is uh, some of the things we see out in the field. Guys will plug these in, and if they're not in the medium or high setting upon arrival, they won't notice any difference because it will still be stuck in stock. But first off, I'm going to show you how to plug in the male connector for the MAP sensor into the female end located on the engine block itself. It's pretty simple, just a snap clip connector. Just unplug it as such. You take the male end off of the module and plug it right in just as such here. And then you will take the male end coming from the engine itself and plug it into the female end from our module. Next we will go to the male connector port for the fuel injection uh, portion. It is just a twist, so you twist it counterclockwise. And then it unplugs like that. Then you take the male end for the fuel injection portion off our module and you plug it back into that. And as we did with the MAP sensor, you take the connection off the engine and you also plug it back into our module. That way it's a two-way. Let's do that. Now here we are getting ready to wire up your hot and ground strap to the alternator. This is a 16 millimeter socket. Uh, that's what the nuts are on the alternator anyways. So in order to get those off, just get you a 3 8 drive ratchet with an extension. And it's pretty easy, pretty simple to get to. And just loosen up the hot strap as such. Now one thing that we haven't touched on yet, it is very crucial that you get a good ground connection on these. That's another common problem we've seen with some installs. Uh, as these pieces of equipment come from the factory, there will be a lot of paint on the frame and a lot of paint on grounded areas that uh, people may connect the modules to. If there is not a good connection, then the module will not operate at all, if not properly. So that's one thing to touch on. Always make sure you got a good ground connection with these modules. On this particular engine, which is a 12.9, we're going to hook the ground strap up to a hose clamp coming off your drip tank. This is located on the head of the block, if you can see here. This bolt is a 13 millimeter, so we'll just unscrew this and make sure that the surface is clean as well before we connect. As stated earlier, on this particular location, there was paint on the block where we're going to mount our ground strap to. As you can see, you can just take a simple knife or some sandpaper or anything abrasive to remove that paint get back to a clear surface. Uh, in this case we scraped it off with a knife and we're going to follow up by sanding it down to get any remnants of paint off. That should leave a good uh, surface connection for your ground strap. The final step once all the connections are in place is to take the zip ties that are located within the box. Uh, we send those out with every module to take them and tie them up nice and secure away from any moving parts, away from anything that could potentially get hot and damage the module. Uh, you work pretty well want everything to be tight and just away from any moving components. Um, this is very vital to the performance of the module itself as well as the effectiveness of the machine. So 
Here we are, we're going to take some zip ties, and for this particular module we're going to locate it down here by the ECM on uh, some existing wire loom on the machine. You can just run it through the holes located on the module. Wrap it up as such. And you can put it upside down or uh, right side up, whichever way would be most convenient for you to change the settings on the tune. Now, as you can see here, we got a good start to getting everything zip tied up and ready. This concludes our install of the 6001 model module on this Case IH 550 quad track tracker. Be sure to check us out on Facebook and YouTube for future updates and installs. Uh, you can also check out our website at www.agdieselsolutions.com. There we'll have a full list of part numbers for any make and model of equipment that you may have. Uh, so come check us out and get more interested. Stay tuned with us.